Morning, welcome back to Franz Crafts. Today I'm going to make a card using this hydrangea stencil. Um, I had a magazine, a craft magazine, that got um, a stencil, um, embossing folder and some stamps free with it. So I um, thought I'd give it a go and um, make a card. So um, just to start with, if you're not 100% on um, doing this to start with, you can always just do, um, just practice on some scrap paper and then um, like that and then you know sort of how much you can put ink on and everything so um, here we go so I'm going to take my piece of card first that's the size of the stencil so if at least if I go over it's not going to um, mark my piece of card anywhere else So I'm going to start with the purple first and I'm just doing a little circular motion so it will be, it'll turn out to be darker in the centre and lighter towards the outside. If you want it any darker you just uh, add some more ink. gone off there but it doesn't matter because I'm not I've got my scrap paper underneath so that's that. Put that to one side and then I'm just going to do my leaves and stem. I haven't used stencils particularly that much so I thought a um, good time to start. So there we go. Take that off. And there we have our hydrangea. So I'll pop that to one side. So I've got some um, coordinating card that I want to mount it onto. I also um, embossed the butterflies and the flowers on the same colour card so I'm just going to um, just mount this up onto here. Okay so I've mounted my um, image up and I just want to put um, a little one of the butterflies on on uh, the image as well. So I'm just going to put it as it's coming to the flower and then I've just got um, a pen, a marker pen and I'm just going to Give it a little bit of um, colour. Like so, there we go. Now I'm going to take, I'm just going to cut my embossed piece out. wanted to to um, especially if you had this on white card and you wanted to um, the image sorry uh, about that noisy puppy so what I was trying to say is if you had this on lighter card you could go over with the ink just to make the embossed part um, stand out a little bit more 
So I'm going to take my um, 8x8 card that I've got. And so I just start building the um, card up now. So. Trying to decide where I want everything. Let's go there, or maybe just pop it down the bottom. All right. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut. there and create a little banner. Okay, so I know roughly what I want to do now, so I'm just going to do my usual of framing the card with a bit of a border. got some ribbon I want to add onto here as well. I'm just going to pop it down the spine of the card. going to do a bow and um, I'm just going to give it a knot like so and then take my scissors <coughs> off at an angle so that it doesn't fray. Sorry about my noisy puppy. Okay, so I've done that and then I want to put some tape on the back of here. overlapping my embossed piece. Like so and then I'm just going to um, stamp another butterfly. sentiment Sentiment says have a blooming marvellous day. So I'm just going to pop one more butterfly going there. That's it. And then 
I'm just going to take my pen again and just pop, oops, pop a little bit of colour. Onto the wings. So I've done my stencil just uh, using ink. You could also um, use some paste and a glittered paste, which would make it quite nice. Or you could put some just paste on and add glitter onto it. Um, you know the choice. <coughs> choice is yours, really. So there we are. That's my uh, card finished. I'll pop it there. So there we go. A nice, um, simple card. So I will be back again soon. Thanks for watching today. Bye.